the first part of this video was shot at the end of a very long, hard day of work for me. So I was feeling a little punchy and found what you're about to see very funny. I just happened to point out to Wendy a large branch that was dangling over our driveway. She thought she could get it down. I told her I didn't think she could, and the challenge was on. We've got a branch right up there, dead but stuck in the tree just waiting to fall down unexpectedly. We're gonna try and help it along. Actually, Wendy is going to try and help it along. She thinks she can lasso it. And then we'll just tug it down. She's gonna use Elmo, her bright red truck, to stand in. I'll probably get her a ladder to put it in the back of the truck too. This is as close as we've got for rope, Wendy. <laughs> blame, blame the rope. It's like two feet of the wrong kind of rope. This rope is plastic, it will not go. I need something like a nylon rope that will actually, you know, have the right kind of movement. This is not heavy enough. Okay. You want to try it first? Want me to get you a ladder? This crappy rope. I can't even tie a knot in this rope because it's so crappy. <laughs> make sure I'm completely annoyed at his lack of participation <laughs> because he just stands there well you can kind of see a little closer what that branch is this rope is completely worthless okay you want to try a stick instead I love those big ones up there. You've got a lot of sticks. I think it's a great challenge. This is a new Olympic event. Shut up. <laughs> Knocking dead branches out of trees. Yeah. The, and the six foot something man is standing on the side while his five foot four girlfriend is over here Be careful, Wendy. 
Safety first! It's gonna hit me in the face. <laughs> Safety first, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> no, don't hit me with the fire. <laughs> you get up here and try. No, I want, you, I want you to do it. I can get you a ladder if you want to be up on a ladder too. Alright, we'll be right back with the ladder. Oh, she hit it. What we really do need is somehow to get a rope around it so we can just pull it down. Let's go get the right rope for you. No, I told you you could get... Never mind. I'm not going to spend $30 on some rope. Why not? Because I could pay somebody $30 to come do it properly. Well, don't give up. I'm not giving up. I'm just not spending money on it. Maybe if you just... uh get right underneath it with the pole and poke it a little. See? It's still not coming out, yeah. Is there any way you could get the rope so that you could shove the rope up with the pole and kind of hook it around one of the branches? So in the interest of entertainment God. and not necessarily such a jerk. practical usages here, we've got a garden hose with an old sprayer. Wendy's gonna try <clears throat> Wendy's gonna try to hit it with this and maybe hook the branch with it and see if we can pull it down. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> what stuff? <sighs> Garden covers to protect the truck. Alright, so she's given up on that. Doesn't want to hurt the truck. Actually, that's a wise decision. So what do you do when you fail to knock a branch out of a tree? Well, the consolation prize 
is we drive to get some ice cream because it's a nice warm day. It's not that nice and it's not that warm, she says, but I think ice cream will still hit the spot. Well, I didn't want to just leave you hanging with that kind of an ending. Let's see if today I can get that branch down. I happen to have a couple of these old screw hanger things and I'll be using some 10 foot sticks that normally I use in my picture framing business as stretcher bar material. Now 10 feet isn't quite going to cut it so I'm screwing together two of them with this on the end to hook the branch and pull it down. If one doesn't work I'll make two of them so that they can grab on either side, clamp them together, and then try to pull the branch down. Let's see if it works. You know, this is kind of like the Sword of Damocles. I encourage everybody out there to get a good liberal arts education. You never know when an ancient Greek myth reference just might come in handy for a YouTube video you might be making. Yes! Success is mine. Well, it might not quite be Olympic event material, but that's pretty cool. If you like these videos, please click the thumbs up button or our picture if you want to subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything. Feel free to leave a comment and share the link with your friends if you feel like it. Clearly, I make these videos because I enjoy it. It would be nice to have more viewers and some more positive feedback though.